Hey, yo, what's going on? It's me, Boss Cat Astronaut, with another update. Uh, so you see me in work attire, so we'll kind of get past that really quick. But uh wanted to touch on the project and kind of talk about some really great mints, right? Uh, these mints are occurring within the next seven days or so. Uh, actually, actually, one of them is a little bit longer. But I really wanted to get these one last time in front of you guys so you can really check out uh, some great projects. Uh, these projects are, of course, uh, Cardano proxies uh, that you see here in the middle. Uh, of course, Space Pugs Alpha. And of course, uh, Chains of War. Um, all of these projects offer something different and unique and are bringing something great to the space. So let's get into it. All right, here we go. Excellent. So we'll start out with Cardano proxies. Um, first and foremost, the art speaks for itself, right? Uh, so uh, as you can see, the level of detail and artistry here is incredible. Uh, not to mention all the other uh, pieces that we haven't seen, right? Uh, but what I really wanted to also touch on is that this project is different in the sense that uh, it has different social impact areas uh, that it's trying to get the community involved in. So that's why you have five different proxies, right? These are the digital characters that personify the community's ethos and goals. So uh, social impact areas are arts, healthcare, Cardano tech, uh, the environment and NFTs and crypto finance. Of course, you know, that's the one I chose but I'm also going to choose another one as well. Uh, I won't get into too much detail here because a high level want you to be able to check out their Discord and go see what this space is really like yourself, but uh, great project, great leadership as well. Uh, if you check out the white paper, it kind of goes through uh, the purpose of each proxy and uh, each proxy group has up to a thousand members and the way you gain membership is by of course owning the nft right so with that i wanted to touch on some important information that they've shared in terms of the mint now they had a phase one mint where they had 500 uh cardano proxies uh that sold out right so the mint information here is uh, number one, <clears throat> you can mint up to 10 proxies per transaction. So that's pretty convenient, right? Um, <clears throat> in order to be part of the whitelist, you have to uh, own a proxy womb. A proxy womb is an NFT uh, that will have further utility la later, but for now gives you access to be able to mint during the pre-sale, okay? So that's what that's for. Now, with that said, you hold those in your wallet. They're going to do a snapshot very soon, which will allow you to mint, right? So this is a breakdown. There's 4,500 proxy NFTs left. Uh, so you see uh, Ezel and Gaia, they haven't minted any of those yet. So there's a thousand. There were... Uh, uh, Cy Siberiata, Moneda, and Destiny's already minted uh, in the phase one mint where 500 were minted. There's a total of 5,000 proxy NFTs. Very excited about this project. Um, they already have a token as well, right? Uh, they have a governance token that's already launched, fully available uh, for you to utilize within their ecosystem already. By simply going to the Discord, you earn uh, points that uh, lead up to proxy tokens every single day. So really cool concept. You can actually tip each other within the Discord with proxy tokens now. So they're doing some really great things. Uh, but I wanted to share this information with you. Uh, also pertaining to the Mint. If we can open this up here. Is this it? All right. Now, they will have a snapshot on April 22nd at 10 o'clock Eastern, 2 p.m. UTC, right? 
they'll take that snapshot of current wallets that are holding proxy wounds. Remember, that's what's going to allow you to be part of the whitelist mint. OK, that takes place on April 22nd tomorrow. Right now, uh, April 23rd is the public mint. So here's the beauty of being whitelisted. If you're on the whitelist mint, you pay 70 ADA. OK, uh, so you get a 30 ADA discount and you get to mint a day early. Uh, for those of you who are in the public mint, uh, still a reasonable price, you'll pay 100 ADA, right? Now, I want to tell you this. This is very important. Um, it's up to you, but there are some proxy wombs also on the secondary market if you wanted to mint early, and they're pretty reasonably priced right now. So I was actually thinking about, now I'm telling on myself here, but I was actually thinking about getting a few more of these uh, so I can mint, but I also want to help out. Uh, I want to help you guys out in terms of folks that want to get into the project that may not have had the opportunity, right? So there's 47 listed right now. So you can get them as little as 10 ADA. I mean, there's only one, but if you wanted to mint early, so hypothetically speaking, right? Uh, even if you bought a few of, let's say you wanted to mint three, right? If you're paying 70 ADA plus you're buying these, you're still getting a discount in terms of compared to that 100 ADA. So I would really take a look at this. If this is something you're interested in, you can go to JPG store. Make sure you, you make sure you're searching things that are verified. But that's another opportunity for you guys as well that I wanted to share. Shout out, shout out to the Proxy Wound team. You have been amazing. You've been great. Happy to be part of the community and excited for this mint, guys. So, uh, again, shout out to them. Uh, I plan on minting uh, a few tomorrow, um, and uh, I can't wait to kind of share what I get because the artwork speaks for itself. So, April 22nd, tomorrow is the whitelist mint. April 23rd, public mint. All right. Next, let's let's move on to Space Pugs Alpha. Uh, shout out to Kung. Shout out to uh, the Ultimate Warrior. These are diehard uh, Boss Cat Rocket Club folks uh, that I have the pleasure of knowing. Uh, great guys, smart guys, bringing you a very unique and cool project to the space. Space Pugs Alpha. This is a collection of 7,777 uh nfts right so the mint date is the 23rd for the whitelist and that's 40 ada the public mint is 50 ada and that's on the 24th right so what's interesting about this mint that i really want you to pay attention to here is uh number one uh everyone who mints because uh, they're only minting 5,000 of these total, will have an opportunity for a massive airdrop to all the pug holders that will take place a month later, so on May 23rd. So you can get up to an extra, you know, if you mint 10, you can get an extra five possibly. Uh, maybe you get three. But the fact is that just by having diamond hands and hodling, uh, you can put yourself in a great position for some free pugs later. So I like that idea. I also like the idea of uh, their first application of royalties that will be applied to the pugs floor fund. They're going to allocate money to ensure that the floor continues to uh, remain at a reasonable level. Uh, I love when projects do this because it gives you reassurance that uh, you're invested something, investing in something uh, that not only you believe in, but the team believes in the long term, right? And they're putting their ADA where their mouth is, or their money where their mouth is, to say the least. There's another project release coming uh, in uh, Q2 as well in June. So look out for that. Um, lots of interesting stuff here. These guys are really smart, uh, really community driven. They they plan on building an estate on Boss Planet. Uh, so I'm really excited uh, for what they're bringing to the table. This is also a DAO. So 
a lot of this will also be community driven. So I really want you guys to pay attention to this project as well. The artwork is incredible. Uh, if I had more time, I would have been able to pull some up. But uh, they have some really cool uh, artwork that they've been developing, man. Um, really creative with the pugs. And uh, shout out to their team as well. Uh, it you can you can tell that they have three artists working on this that are doing a really great job. So shout out to uh, Ultimate Warrior. Shout out to Kung. Uh, and the whole team, uh, guys, if you were lucky enough to get on the white list, congrats. Uh, this is going to be a great project to get into. Uh, also, check out the public mint. If you can get, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can get some, uh, if there's some left to mint, I encourage you to do so as well. So uh, remember, white list on the 23rd. Public Mint on the 24th, very, very cheap. 40 ADA for the whitelist, 50 for the public. Very reasonable, right? And very close to the price that we just saw for Mad Dog Car Club that currently has a floor of above 250 to, you know, 250 to 300. So shout out to Space Pugs. Very excited for this in two days, almost exactly. Let's go. And finally, Chains of War. Uh, shout out to the team. Uh, I am so ready to eventually play this game. I love the lore that they've developed. I like the four factions uh, or uh, species is a better word uh, that they have. Um, so April 29th, you'll be able to claim your heroes, right? Now, there's also a whitelist for this project. I'm not sure if the whitelist is closed, but I will tell you this. Go check out their Discord. People are excited and amped up about the project, and you should be too. Look at yeah, you have a you have a lot of gamification going on with this project, but um, you're able to be part of a story driven fantasy world. Choose your species that you really want to navigate this new world with, and this is the game to do so. Uh, Chains of War has a very strong team. Shout out to, uh, I, I wish I could remember who interviewed them, but there's uh, quite a few, maybe the block is hot. I'm sure others have too, but uh, there's some interviews out there uh, for you to check out as well. Uh, but man, look at the artwork here. Like, wow. Very impressed. Very impressed with, with what these this team has been able to do, right? So when, so I told you 10,000 NFTs, April 29th, uh, that's when you'll be able to mint. Yes, there's a whitelist. Um, they do have a rarity structure in, in place, okay? Now, they're creating a digital world here, right? Uh I'll let you read about their take on the metaverse here, but what they're not doing is they're not necessarily building out what we would think of as a typical metaverse. Okay. Um, so very excited. They did say this though. They said the current 3d models we've designed for our NFTs are too high quality to be directly used in a metaverse metaverse environments, the empowering, phase will be all about adding utility. We are working with a metaverse providing partner to create avatars of our models that can be airdropped and used in the metaverse. So that's very exciting for the future as well as the game grows in popularity, you know, people begin to use it. Um, there will be a token, right? So this is play to earn. Uh, very, very, uh, very likely you'll have a token in terms of getting into the gamification phase. So this is the 29th. Uh, very excited for you guys to check out all three of these projects. Again, uh, we touched on uh, Cardano proxies. Uh, we touched on Space Pugs Alpha. And of course, Chains of War. All amazing projects bringing something unique to the space. 
that you should definitely do your own research and get behind. As I always say, start every day with a grateful heart and, uh, you know, feel free to like and subscribe.